Hey YouTube, Kira Toy here, bringing you guys my Pure Elemental Hero deck profile for September 2018. Been on a real hero craze as of late for the release of the new Megaton. And I want to bring you guys in, uh, basically an update. I would say it's been a good year and a half since the last update to my uh, Pure Elemental Hero uh, deck profile. The main focus of this deck is just to fusion summon all the different Elemental Hero uh, fusions we have uh, back from the beginning of GX. And added a little bit of new support with uh, Solid Man in the deck, which isn't really uh, meant for uh, massed heroes alone. It can work with the obviously you know like the fusion with polymerization and just the all generic hero monsters you can use to help get out all the different ones from the extra deck that we have to offer so let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile so for the uh, normal elemental heroes i run one of each of elemental hero avion one uh, bersinatrix and one elemental hero clayman i just run one of, of these uh, ones basically because you run elemental hero prisma in the deck so if you really want you know to use these cards for your fusion you can either open them up yourself search them out with a e emergency call or you know use prisma to send it to the grave then grab the name you have plenty of options and you don't really need more than one of for these uh, cards otherwise because, like I said, for the easy search and then having multiple copies will just bring away from your actual true uh, motives for your uh, fusion summonings. The only ones I run uh, more than one of are Elemental Hero Sparkman just because he's more uh, versatile with um, his attack stats as well. So if you open up multiples of him, uh, you're not really you know stuck too much as you would be with the other ones having to play defensively with like Clayman, but then like having just too low attack for Avion and Bersinatrix. Sparkman at least can hold his own and and, you know, is needed for a good amount of the um, fusions that you go for in this deck, for sure. And I have two of the Elemental Hero uh, Solid Soldier in the deck uh, as of now. I might bump this up to three by either taking out a Prisma or a Bubble Man. But with this one, when it's normal summon, you can special summon one level four or lower hero monster from your hand. If this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard by a spell effect, you can target one hero monster in your graveyard except for Elemental Hero Solid Soldier. Special summon it in defense. You can only use this effect of Solid Soldier once per turn. So it really does help um, for those of you going for the Link Ass back of the deck just to open up your uh you know extra deck more by going for like a link two and using this card and the one you special summon out then being able to summon back another one if you have miracle fusion in your hand it just ad helps additionally because then you can use the card sent to the graveyard uh for the fusion summon then have the arrow spaces open up solid soldier just helps you know give back your extra deck basically since we really shut out with the extra monster zone and being able to get out plenty of fusions with this deck now and I also run three Elemental Hero Bubble Man. Bubble Man is just so helpful with, um, you know, your summons in this deck, whether it be um, for, like, your fusions or just an easy special to help with the link, like I stated before. Um, it just overall comes in handy. And that true draw plus power, if you have no other cards, just makes it the ultimate top deck as well. Um, if you, um, like I said, with Solid Soldier, wanted to go for more of a fusion base and not the link and you didn't want to run the Solid Soldier, you could put in additionals of the normal monsters and then maybe like Blade Edge or Necroshade. But then you'd have to change up your extra deck as well for just a couple monsters. But that's all player preference there, depending on what you want to do for your fusions. And I also run two Elemental Hero Wild Heart. Now these cards, um, Wild Heart just helps for the traps, um, you know, to go off of um, basically not being affected by traps. And then also, depending on what you want to use for your fusion plays, based on overall stats as well, he's quite balanced. Um, so can't go wrong with him there. And I also run the three of the Elemental Hero Prisma. Uh, like I said before with Prisma, this card, um, you can take out maybe one of this if you wanted for um, an additional... Um uh, completely zoned out on his name there solid soldier that's it and then you know just run two of this but it helps because this deck is meant to be a pure elemental hero deck for you to get out your different fusion monsters but prisma just helps by sending avion clayman or any of the other ones uh, that are listed in the name to the uh, graveyard so then he takes on that name and then you can use them for the fusions and i also run two Elemental Hero Honest Neos. This is just a uh, good hand trap power wise for hero monsters. Giving them that boost for sure. Uh, cards with like Flame Wingman or, you know, Thunder Giant when they just swing over. Especially Flame Wingman and also Flare Neos being able to um, hit those big numbers. Not Flare Neos, um, Shining Flare Wingman. Apologize about that. Uh, just for that extra power, definitely does come in handy to run two of that. 
And then lastly, for the monsters, I run two King of the Swamp. Uh, King of the Swamp just, you know, takes up that um, fusion search, and it also just helps additionally with... Um, you know, searching for polymerization, and if you already have the polymerization, obviously you can just um, use this to substitute one of the specific names, which a lot of the fusions in this deck do run. And that is it for the monsters. We'll now move on to the spells. I run three E Emergency Call. This card is just, you know, way too easy staple in this deck. Um, along with the one reinforcement of the armor we run, being able to just search out what you need uh, quickly just thins out the deck. And then if you have one hero in your hand and you just need the one specific other one, if you don't have Prisma, this card just comes in handy just as much. And same goes for a hero live. Also, a hero lives. Also running three of this card with the uh, easy special summon of you know a level four lower elemental hero monster from your deck. It could either be uh, the Prisma if you need it for that, or you can even go for some of the other ones if you have just the hero lives in your hand. You've got the uh, Bubble Man as well. And then just remember with Solid uh, Soldier, it has to be normal summon to get the special off, but plenty of other ones just very helpful with this spell card in the deck. And I also run the three polymerizations. This is just, like I said, your main fusion goal in the deck is to get off a bunch of different fusion summons. So with uh, Solid uh, Soldier, I believe is his name, yep. I said I wanted to think Solid Man for a second, Solid Soldier. You just have the spell effect to the graveyard to get the special summon back. So you want to run polymerization just because otherwise, you know, if you banish it with like Miracle Fusion, you won't get the special summon. Uh, but, you know, still great to rely on that fusion. That's why I I still do run v3 miracle fusions just because with the resources you send to the graveyard with uh, prisma um, you can then use the miracle fusion from your graveyard if you want to maybe let's say um, normal summon the solid soldier and then special summon the prisma and then use the effect of prisma to send then link summon getting your link monster out and then having the special summon monster as long as the other hero in the graveyard then you can use the miracle fusion and have the uh, link monster arrow point to the fusion monster that you get out so all very um, much comes together uh, just you know fusion wise um, for all the different plays you want to do and I also run two O Oversoul, just additional, um, you know, special summons back to the field when you need them, especially for uh, Link plays. But even if you're just going for the fusion plays, uh, to have polymerization out definitely does come in handy with this card. And same goes for the one ofs that we run for these spells. The Soul Charge comes in handy for additional special summon. You don't only really run uh, or use your life too, too much. Just uh, remember with the Hero Lives, the half uh, cost is like, I think, your biggest problem to worry about. And also, one monster reborn. Also, be wary because some of the uh, Hero Fusion monsters can only be special summoned by fusion summoning. So remember that when you're going for a special summon with this card. And I also run one Fusion Sage. If you want to bump this up to a third King of the Swamp just to, you know, help with the search. Just, I needed, you know, the one card I was missing, thinking between Upstart Goblin and then just this for your uh, search and draw. I just thought this might be a little more consistent. I considered running two Polymerization and then two Fusion Recycling Plants just because we do run the Miracle Fusion, like I said, and then you have that discard draw. So that's an additional option to you as well if you wanted to cut it down to two Polymerization then two Fusion Recycling Plants as well. Just for easy search and then building up your graveyard also. And also, I run one Reinforcements in the Army, like I stated before, uh, easy search for your Warrior Monsters. And one Dark Hole. This can also be Regeki, but you can get some pretty big heroes out, so being able to clear out their monsters just means that you have, you know, free board to go for big attacks. And lastly, for the traps, I run two Fusion Reserve. This is just uh, more search and recycling of polymerization from the graveyard as well. Uh, I didn't want to run too, too many traps because it kind of conflicts with the uh, Fusion plays you do in the deck, but this one was definitely needed because it just helps for that search and recycling. A big one also when I want to go for uh, Flare Neos. Why do I keep saying Flare Neos? It is Flare Wingman. Sorry about that. Um, for your big fusion play, for sure, to get back the polymerization and maybe like another hero as well. And then moving on to the extra deck. For the elemental hero fusion monsters, I uh, tried to stick with um, as many as I could so to keep the variety. So elemental hero flying wingman for your avion and Bristan tricks plays, for clayman and sparkman, thunder giant, rampart blaster, um, great for the defensive plays and also for the 1000 damage. You can slowly burn them down. Mariner, same for the direct attacks. All you need to really do is you know set a spell and then you can attack directly. Steam healer for the healing. 
plays with Bubble Man and Bristina Tricks. And then for your bigger ones, I've also got the Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman for the, I guess, I'm probably one of the funnest ones to do for sure. If you make Flame Wingman, have Sparkman and Miracle Fusion, very easy to do. Also, one Elemental Hero Tempest, and that pretty much covers for the uh, generic ones. Now, I have the Wild Art, Wild Heart in here. I just actually didn't have any Wild Edges or um, the one that... If you guys remember the name, it's not coming to me at the moment. I think Wild Wingman with Avion. You can uh, basically swap out and customize what you want your fusions to be. Like if you want to take out the uh, Mariner, since Avion and Bubble Man have plenty of other ones, you can take out and put in, um, you know, uh, Wild Wingman for that. But if you want to put in Wild Edge, you'll need the Blade Edge as well. But also remember with King of the Swamps being able to take up some of the spots, um... You don't really have to mix up the main deck as much. And then for the generic uh, heroes, I run two Elemental Hero Absolute Zero, a very easy fusion to make and a very powerful one as well for the uh, destroying of all your opponent's monsters. Just need a hero monster and a water monster, so Bubble Man and um, your just any other Elemental Hero monster makes it for an easy summon. And same goes for Elemental Hero Nova Master and Elemental Hero uh, Vision Hero Adoration. Um, I don't have any Elemental Hero The Shining or Great Tornado or Gaia. I would definitely play those cards as well and maybe swap around a couple of the other fusions as well to run those in the deck as well. But Vision Hero Adoration just needs two hero monsters. So if you're stuck with anything else that you can't make, this definitely does come as a great potential card to go for. But most of the time I do like to go for the Elemental Eerie Easy Generic fusions like Nova Master and all the other ones. And I also run one Vision Hero Trinity. This can be a great kill card for sure if your opponent just opens up with some monsters and leaves them out. Being able to hit 5,000 attack points and then, you know, attack three times for sure. And I did say I was running a small Link uh, buildup, but if you didn't want to run the Links, you could just put in any of those other fusions that I recommended to you into the deck. But I run one Land Fornicus if you want for the easy arrows. Um, this can even be a sold since she is a warrior monster, but I thought this is just a very good generic one to go for, for sure. Same with the Underclock Taker and Link Spider, just for your um, uh, normal monsters you run. And because you can run Miracle Fusion and banish them from the graveyard, just gives you an additional monster that if you were to just do it from the field as well. But like I said, if you wanted to run Pure Fusions, you could take these out and put in any of the other ones that I recommended. But that is it for the deck profile. Like I said, this is a very fun deck and uh, one that, you know, I think was completely made for fun. But I'm having fun with all the other um, hero ideas that I can bring out to you guys. Hoping to do, you know, maybe Junk Synchrons and, you know, Synchro deck uh, with the support from the Yusei Megaton very soon as well. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Twig out.